So it's like Satan is always making movies promoting himself. And whenever you see a red dragon, you understand what he is doing. He's trying to portray himself as being some hero, which he is not. He's a false, he's a false Christ. So this red dragon that appears, it says, then another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on his head. Now, um, when, he talking, when he's talking about these seven heads and ten crowns, I mean these uh, seven heads and ten horns, he's talking about um, the seven heads are representing the, the region and the area where the Antichrist is going to come out of, which is the European Union Rome, which came back into existence in 2002. See, for God to fulfill prophecy, all of Europe had to reunite again. And God saw to it that the European Union decided in 2002 that they were going to all get back together and, and, and develop this one nation and one army of all of the nations of Europe. So that was a part of God's prophecy because he knows that the Antichrist has to come out of the, this European Union, which is really just the revived Roman Empire. Then, of course, the ten horns represent ten separate nations that will rule under the Antichrist. So the world is going to be split up into ten separate, separate nations. Now, if you Google this and say the world separated into ten separate uh, 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 kingdoms, it will pull up the map where they already have this plan already in place to separate the world into ten separate uh, nations and powers to be under the government of the Antichrist. So all of this is already being planned and Satan is already uh, getting prepared for his death. Now, as Christians, even though the Bible tells us to make sure that we be, remain heavenly minded and to let our minds and our hearts be settled in heaven, sometimes we don't want to think about heaven, but God wants us to understand something. He wants us to always remember in our hearts and in our minds that our life is not about earth. That there are things going on in this earth that, that God wants you to know that this is not it. And if you keep your heart and your mind about the kingdom of God, if you keep your heart and your mind about what is what God's ultimate plan is, and knowing you are part of that ultimate plan, you won't get hung up in what's going on here. God wants you to be heavenly minded because he has plans for you, but, but your ultimate plans is not in this world. So they're creating this um, uh, world to come or this perfect time of peace on the earth. And God is trying to keep his people from being deceived and believing that utopia is coming. Because sometimes we believe that, you know, maybe there something great is going to happen and the world's going to have peace if you don't continue to keep your mind in Christ. Let's continue to read down. It says, this enormous red dragon in verse 4, his tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that he might um, uh, devour her child the moment it was born. Okay, who was uh, the king that wanted to destroy Jesus as soon as he was born? It was King Herod. So the dragon is the one who is in King Herod causing him to say, listen, we've got to kill every child born within two years so that this Jesus Christ is killed among all of them and so that I don't have to worry about this Messiah that they prophesied about. So Satan enters Herod, 
Herod, no, so now the, the, the dragon is inside of Herod. And Herod is saying, kill every child two years and under. What kind of heart can do that? But you have to understand the dragon is a ferocious beast. He doesn't care about life or anything. Here he is a king that has just, I mean, as, as, as easy as taking a sip of coffee, say, just kill every kid in the whole area that's two years and under. And that's how Satan is. He has absolutely no heart. And so, um, he tries to kill this, it says, the woman who gave birth, uh, uh, to gave birth so that he might devour her child the moment it was born. She gave birth to a son, a child, um, a, a male child who will rule all nations with an iron scepter. So Mary gave birth to a son. The prophecy about her son is that he will rule all nations with an iron scepter. That means her son is who? Jesus Christ. That means Jesus Christ is being prophesied in this scripture that he is going to reign and rule over every nation in the earth. Jesus Christ has a future kingship right here on earth ruling all nations. But that rulership will not come until after the seven years which he has always said, already said that Satan is going to reign and rule. He's going to rule on this earth for seven years. And so for those seven years that the world's going to have to endure Satan, they're going to have to endure the dragon. These are the reasons why we're telling people about Christ. Because this seven years is going to come as short as the sun comes up in the morning. This seven years is going to come. Why? Because God said it is. And so therefore when it comes, and when it comes as ferocious and as evil as it is, we want to make sure that we have prepared people to leave and to be with Christ. And so, um, as we continue reading down, it says, She gave birth to a son, a male child, who would rule all nations with an iron scepter. And her child was snatched up to God and to the throne. So Jesus went back to the kingdom, right? It says, the woman fled into the desert to a place prepared for her for, uh, by God where she might be taken care of for 1,260 days. Now, he just finished talking about the child, meaning Jesus Christ and Mary, but now he said the woman fled into the desert uh, to a place prepared for her by God, where she might be taken care of for 1,260 days. Now he's talking about Israel. Because in the middle of this seven years that is coming upon the earth, in the middle of this seven years, the woman, which is Israel, is going to have to flee from this dragon. He's going to, Israel's going to have to flee from this, this Antichrist who wants to now destroy all of the remnant of Israel. And not just all of Israel, he wants to also destroy everybody who holds the name of Jesus Christ during the tribulation. So a lot is about to happen upon the earth. And many times as Christians, we don't want to see the reality that God has a plan for us as his body and as his bride. We have a future and our future is glorious. But the world has a future and the future of the world is dim and it's coming. And that's why we're preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and the reality of Jesus Christ. And it says, and there was war in heaven, and Michael and, the, and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was held down, that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray, who was hurled down to earth, um, and his angels with him. Now, 
There is going to be a battle in heaven in the middle of this, this seven years of tribulation. Go to Ephesians and you'll see what I'm talking about. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2. 